How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. <laughs> Let's get this going on. Okay, it's July 30th. It is Tuesday. Tomorrow's Toastmaster. And today I'm actually going to meet with one of the Toastmasters and another Toastmaster. Well, Michael, we're going to talk about this film project plan. The big dream production. So actually going to have a producer type meeting. You don't so understand. It's kind of informal, so it's just going to meet zippies. And uh, it's getting dark. Things are dark because the clouds are rain. They predicted overcast and cloudy. It, they predicted tomorrow morning's going to be cloudy. And the clouds are like very thick rain clouds. They're not raining right now. They're just... Uh, being very thick rain clouds. It's so dark out. It's like, what? Ah, ah. It's, it's turning now. And uh, that's about it for the vlog and uh, news. Well, they're still doing the campaign energy behind stuff. And right now they're grilling Secret Service people uh, because of the assassination attempt of Donald J. Trump. They're trying to make sure that all the Secret Service who weren't doing their job are going to be focused on, grilled, magnified, and held responsible, and that's what it seems like. I mean, they're, they're going, well, if you guys didn't do your job right, we got to make sure all our presi Bye. presidents, see, because I think they like the press of calling uh, Donald Trump president when he's not president you gotta say former president but if you address the person in person you can say president as in person meaning person but not when referring to the person as former president but they keep saying president you know they, they like that press and they like the press of um, that the MAGA tough on everybody you know they like that. So they want to make sure that that gets into action. That's what it seems like. They're not really looking for holes in the Secret Service thing or having them review. So, I mean, the guys are just drilling uh, who is responsible for the little time gap. The guy sent up a little drone. I'm confused. Don't you have anti-drones? And don't drones, can't they be weaponized? You know, you send up a little drone. I've seen drones before, trust me. The small little things, you're lucky if you can lift a small little, uh, you know, uh, GoPro camera. <laughs> Sometimes they have, in the GoPro camera, it's that little thing, they're kind of heavy, you know, so, so they have like a little internal cameras, because they, they only last about 20 minutes, you know, in the battery runs out. They I can't go that far. They can't, like, carry a bomb or machine. They're not, you know, no. Yeah, Amazon delivery package, but this guy's a little drone. You know. The guy was just a loner. He looked. Uh, he looked up. To your left, sure. Previous assassination. He was looking up JFK stuff and all this kind of stuff. That's what assassins do. They get themselves worked up into that mindset to, and that's what they do. And everything the guy did was very typical of you know one disturbed guy. He was a youth. He was disturbed because he was kind of ostracized and bullied, I guess. And uh, and uh, he just went off in that direction. And he borrowed Daddy's gun, who had an AR-15 kind of thing, AR-44, one of those machine gun things, just lying around. Why don't they focus on that? Why don't they focus on, if somebody's mentally disturbed, they shouldn't be able to have access to guns. How about, you know, access to machine guns isn't all over the place. They don't just, they're, they're like, something's wrong with the Secret Service. You're fired. That's what they want to promote, that power. I even see uh, Ted Cruz there sitting in the background going, mm, like, they're on it now. They're going to hell accountable. So, that's 
I think it's more like optics and the poor Secret Service. They're just like, they were basically trying to do their job. You know, now they're just like, you're going to get, you Lower know, your voice. prosecuted for doing your job. So, I don't know. I think it's a MAGA exercise of optics. But, you know what? Oh, let's try to be quickie. Well, Hawaii's got news too. Yeah, Hawaii. Look. Oh my gosh. Property insurance? Over 10,000 claims. Three point billion dollars in losses. Uh, claims. Um, so they're still trying to... Some of them are being fulfilled or paid out. Some of the claims were paid. 71% were paid off. These insurance claims for a Maui uh, disaster wildfire. There's an old murder case, this Dana Ireland, she was riding her bicycle on the big island and this car came by in a VW bug and knocked her off her bicycle and then they, you know, did nasty ravage and then she left for dead, she died. So they, they got three guys and they were in prison and then DNA, like, um, linked another guy. So they were gonna reopen the case with the DNA evidence and he offs himself. But this was a big famous case. Well, I guess if they find out he's under investigation and he decides to take the short way out of uh, I guess he is guilty. What's in the oh gosh. Oh I know more tragedy. <laughs> That's tragedy. Well he lost. In Tahiti, the famous um, multi winner surfer John John Florence. John John. Everybody Why are you here? Everybody loves John John. But John John got ousted by an Australian, I think. John John Florence, he's going to be the USA surfing champion. No, <laughs> Australia comes in. He's ousted. But Clarissa, Clarissa's still in there. From, oh, Burned. Not all of us. Yeah, just go one way and then I scroll too fast. It cuts me off. So, let's just relax. Back in 1961, we were relaxed. Just like, go to the eye doctor and... This look. I can't speak. Look into my eyes. 1961. Hey, I don't think the machines are kind of the same. No, they got the new one. This one has a hand. I have to actually look in your eye because I'm an eye doctor. The cornea scope, an electrophotographic instrument, aids contact lens diagnostic and fitting procedures now in use at the Vent Air Office in Honolulu. 1961. They had contact lenses back then? Oh my gosh. And if we go, oh, maybe a little finger on the pulse. I did not even look at this. Political cartoon. Race for independence. Independence? I don't know. Oh, they, she cut off the little ball and chain. Now she's flying high and he's still got the, uh, weighing him down like an anchor. J.D. Vance. Oh, no, J.D. Vance. Oh. There's so much stuff about J.D. Vance. I, I don't have time for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's in it's nuts. I guess. I guess this. this, this, this. Oh, I get. Oh, just. Well, there's a little JD Vance thingy here. So let's look at that. Maybe Vance's comments are inaccurate and insulting. I am insulted by JD Vance's comments about childish cat ladies, whom I am one. <laughs> Having children was from Honolulu on Sunday. Oh, the bells of St. Mary was from Honolulu on Sunday. What? Not, okay, that's a typo. Not in the cards for me. That doesn't mean I haven't fulfilling, I had a fulfilling life. W, W, W. Is this, this is, this is, okay, it's okay, cat, cat ladies, ladies talking, talking back. back. Uh, having children was not in the cards for me. That doesn't mean I haven't had a fulfilling life. I am happily married to my husband for 38 years. My passion is caring for people and animals. I was able to follow both of my passions by working in the field of nursing as a CNA, LPN, RN, and more than 40 years I have cats all my life. I am so glad one of my choices wasn't to marry a man like J.D. Vance. Carolyn Frank. Makaha. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, J.D. Vance was uh, saying more than just cat ladies. It's like anybody who doesn't have children is uh, like a child-hating, anti-family... Stop. 
So what is it? Uh, psycho, communist, Marxist. Back, 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 Move back. over. But if you, um, everyone nowadays is just calling um, that side weird. So they have all these. Like, there's a just nice meme here. If 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 you just you just call them weird, they don't have a comeback. I and mean, for some reason, it's like a, an extremely frustrating <laughs> term because they can't they don't have a. Uh, Come back for it? <laughs> it's just like a, they don't. They don't have a. It's sort of a. Mm. But uh, yeah, keep it weird, Austin. So that's it for today. Anyways, aloha. It's um. What do you call it? Tuesday? I think. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> aloha Tuesday for you. Aloha. Well, it's gonna be maybe. Uh, oh, aloha Tuesday. Aloha Tuesday. <laughs>